how, how quickly do you think Weatherly and Young can fit in for this game coming up? <clears throat> I'm not sure yet. You know, um, Young just got here a few minutes ago. Uh, Weatherly got here yesterday. You know, we'll see how the week progresses. I mean, if I was to give you an answer, it's a total guess right now. Well, hopefully he'll be able to play right away. Um, we'll see. There will be some carryover for him, system-wise. Um, some verbiage is different, but um, again, you know, we got to give him some practice here, and I can maybe better answer that later in the week. Do you, have, like do you have Kaiser talk to him a little bit and say, "Hey, this is what we call this. Just maybe accelerate that." Yeah, we will. I mean, again, he just got here 15 minutes ago. I just met him before he came down here. But what you saw on tape, what'd you like about? Yeah, he's athletic. Uh, he's a uh, playmaker. He's good in coverage. Uh, has good instincts. You know, he's been a good player for them. Just watch him in practice and see that he's normal. I mean, I know what Jerry looks like normal, and if that's what we see, he's good to go. Will Vaughn practice today? No. What do you, th what do you think about his prospects for Sunday? It's day to day. What about Mike Purcell and his prospects? Probably not. Not okay, practice uh, or not play? Play. Uh, by making these two trades at three and four, is, is George sort of sending a message to the team and the staff that he still has a belief that this thing can be turned around? Absolutely. You know, George is great at what he does. Any task is not too big for him. And um, when he's presented with a challenge that falls under his uh, – jurisdiction he, he attacks it and uh, he did it when we lost uh, Jerry and KJ and he's done it now when we've lost ILBs well the last three weeks in particular um, you know we haven't played the run consistently well enough um, you know, and we had a couple games where we gave up the big plays that hurt us. And um, that's what we got to get fixed. As, as, you, as you met with your staff for the last couple of days, is, are there any changes you'll make to focus and practice and different, like, first down, third down? Yeah, I mean, with the uh, extra practice today, we're going to focus on first and second down. You know, that's where a lot of our problems have originated from. We've had too many third and longs, as you guys well know. And the other night we had – too many third and ones on defense and a couple third and threes. So we've got to do a better job on the early down. So today's focus is going to be first and second down. Would that be grounding pass? Uh, yes and no. Yes, he has, but he's got to have a good practice today, I think, is the final hurdle. And LB, how big of a role does he play in that line back position? Yeah, he, he'll have to play a big role in there, I think. We'll, We'll see. You know, he's, as you guys know his story, he's missed a lot of time um, through various injuries. So, but it's time for him to step up. How can uh, Jerry open things up for Cortland, Tim, Noah, and the rest of the offense? Yeah, anytime you can put a good receiver, another good receiver on the field, you know, it helps everybody. Um, just does. Um, he's a good route runner, good receiver, catches it well, and runs good after the catch. And, uh, Everything has a domino effect in this game. Would that be Deshaun Williams and Purcell's spot if, if indeed Mike can't play? Yeah. Yeah, I, I still see that. Um, yeah, we, that's part of the things that we met upon in these last few days, trying to figure out a way to get it going. And But part of the way of getting it going, too, is to – throw it a little better too on the early downs so we got to have a good mix and um, hopefully you know get some better looks to run against the trading uh, activity during the last couple of years has picked up a little bit do you think it's potential distraction for the players this week no I don't you know these trades have been uh, injury motivated um, so I don't think so how do you think Justin Sternad has dealt with taking on more responsibility and what does he have to work on here going forward as a pillar there? 
Yeah, he's he's been up and down out there. Um, he's had good moments, not so, some that not so good. Um, and Justin's a guy that's learning on the run. You know, he didn't play at all last year, and he's had to been force feed into playing a lot. And he's had some good plays, some good games, and some plays that he'd like to do over. But um, he's what we got right now, and we're we're confident that he'll keep improving. Well, well, will Teddy be full this week in practice? And how's his foot? Yeah, I believe so. <laughs> what, what was your message to the guys coming back out of the weekend and kind of refocusing here for the three weeks before the bye? Uh, we just, you know, watched the um, the tape as a, as a team, and uh, you know, pointed out some different things, and hopefully that w that week definitely are correctable, and then we get them corrected and get back to foc focusing on playing winning football. Yeah, it's tough. You know, obviously, um, you overdose on meeting time. Uh, the practice time is what it is. And they just have to do a lot of work. You know, they, they're they going to get a lot of extra meeting time. They're going to have to do a lot of work at home on their own with the iPads. Good thing about these cell phones and texting, you can text a question to the coach at any time. Um, you can video a play and ask a coach a question. Coach can do the same to them. So it's just a lot of extra work, and it's more mental than physical. You know, we'll give them as many reps in practice as we can, but it, it's not an easy chore. Okay, thank you very much. All right, thank you, guys.